Everyone, Joe Thatcher here, Midwest Military Equipment out of Washington, Missouri. Behind me here is a recently finished truck. This is a 2001 Stewart & Stevenson M1088A1. So what you're probably thinking is, looking at it right now, is that's not a 1088A1, that's one right there behind the fence. So this actually started as a 6x6 road tractor. Um, we've installed a 2,000 gallon water tank on the back of it. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and walk around this vehicle and show you some of the upgrades that we're, we've offered and uh, some of the upgrades that we put onto this truck. It really turned out awesome. This is one of the first water trucks that we built. Uh, we've had a lot of requests and inquiries for them, so we figured why not? We're capable of doing it, let's do it. So starting with the tank, it's a 2,000 gallon, 316 steel tank. Uh, we've added pin marker lights, fenders, uh, and then this has got six corner strobes, so you've got strobe lights all the way around it. Uh, this tank is on a spring isolated system, so the tank does allow flex. Um, the tank is also one assembly, so we've got this all set up on quick connect, so if you ever had to pull the tank off, simply remove the six bolts, hose clamp back here by our 800 G GPM pump, and you've got the tank off the truck. Uh, we've added in the space here a 24 by 24 toolbox, allows you for storage for hoses, anything else that you might need. Really turned out awesome. This truck's got the factory 395-85 R20 Goodyears. You can tell they're about 90% treader better. We've deleted the CTIS. The majority of our commercial clients don't like the CTIS, so we went ahead and removed it on this truck since this is really where we're marketing it towards. On the rear, so this truck's got a total of five sprayers on it and a 50-foot hose reel. Uh, these are the two rear sprayers. These are pneumatically controlled by inside the cab. You've got a charge fill port here. It's also got a two by two or two foot by two foot fill hopper on top where if you were doing a gravity feed into it, you're able to do so. We've completely covered this thing in work lights. You've got a total of six work lights around the truck. So if you're gonna be doing any watering at night, you're able to do so. We've added a backup alarm, which is not standard to the 1088s or any military vehicles really in general. We've added that to the truck. So overall turned out really, really nice. Uh, the finish on it is actually a Ford Oxford white, very common color on commercial vehicles. Uh, um, over here, you can see the manifold that we designed for this truck. Uh, the manifold set up where it's got a case drain. You've got your side sprayer nozzle there. That's also controlled inside the cab. And then you've got a 50 foot manual hose reel and an inch and a quarter hose on it. So that's simply activated by the ball valve there. Everything runs off the pump. Everything's kind of self-contained to itself. This truck, uh, we put an 89 upgraded air dryer on, as you can see there. Uh, this truck will actually be getting our upgraded cab air ride system. We were out of stock for them at the moment, but this truck's gonna end up getting that as well. The interior, we'll show you the inside of the door panels and kind of, we've refinished the door panels on the truck with all new black, textured black. You can see the front sprayer nozzles. We utilize the factory mounts for the front sprayer nozzles. The entire truck's been upfitted with all new truck light LED lights. Just overall turned really awesome. You can hear I've got the master switch on so that way the lights are going. All the accessory lights are on keyed power. Uh, the strobes are all on keyed power as well. Switch to control it is all right here. So this is our AC system. Uh, our AC system has one SIG port, two USB ports, and then six auxiliary switches. So you can see I've got the AC on right now, but it is on keyed power, so I shut that off, it goes off. Uh, this is where we've built this sprayer control module here. So you've got all your different sprayers. It's got configurations for an extra sprayer. Uh, this one obviously does not have a right-hand side sprayer on it right now, but you could potentially add one with the way that we designed our manifold. We are going to be offering these tank kits with a remote control system as well. If you want to put a remote control water cannon, uh, we have that adapted into our new manifold design. So that controller would go in here as well. Uh, interior finishing is pretty much stock besides for adding air conditioning. Uh, we've upgraded door panels, all new weather strip, all new gaskets and all the doors, all new door mechanisms, new door guts. So that way this truck's ready to get, take it out and work it and enjoy it and use it for what we built it for. So we're going to be offering a 2000 gallon kit. If you've already got a Stuart Stevenson M1088 or M1083, we're going to have a complete bolt on kit for those. Uh, the kit will include everything from the tank, the pump. Um, all your sprayers, we can configure it however you want. Um, we're gonna pretty much have a base configuration and then add-ons for a number of sprayers, water can and thing of that nature. Um, those are gonna be able to be purchased here in the next couple of weeks. We actually are manufacturing our tanks in-house, so the tank's gonna look slightly different than the one that you saw there. It's gonna be more purpose-built for the truck.
So that's what we try to do here as a company is make everything as simple as possible to retrofit onto a military vehicle like what we specialize in. So uh, this particular truck's getting ready to go up on our website uh, this week. Uh, be sure to check it out online at MidwestMilitaryEquipment.com. If you saw any parts or accessories in this video, uh, we have all of them listed up on our website. Uh, or you're more than welcome to give us a call at 636-900-9046. Thanks for watching.